Okay. What? Those aren't even syllables. And so, oh my god, wait. Okay, already, <laughs> do you see the words? Please highlight Gunther's yeah. Bloodsucker. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is great. So yeah. I feel like we really just desperately need to focus on the phrase commonly known as Gunther's Bloodsucker. <laughs> That's true. It, does that, like, what gives Gunther ownership of this bloodsucker? Is Gunther like, has anyone seen my bloodsucker? I mean, if you have to imagine a guy that was studying Southeast Asian yeah. lizard species, it's definitely a guy named Gunther. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I lost my agami lizard. You oh. might recognize it's a South Asia, Southeast Asian species. Mother, father, I've decided to go to Southeast Asia to study <laughs> lizards. Of course, dear. Why do you think we named you Gunther? <laughs> uh, I have a confession, though. I'm going to Southeast Asia. What? No son of mine. No son of mine will be studying bronchicella. <laughs> You'll study geckos like a good boy. Oh, God. Can you imagine, like, the weirdo with the exotic pets is like, yo, check out my new Gunther's uh, Bloodsucker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. It's just a name. It only eats mice. <laughs> is, that a, is that a Gunther's Bloodsucker? No, actually, it's a Thomas's, it's a Thomas's hand job, which is very close, uh, but different. <laughs> both <Jeez>. lizards. <laughs> both are lizards that remove fluid. <laughs> remove fluid. Is quite possibly the grossest <laughs> way to describe one of the most beautiful acts in the human experience. Yeah, sucking blood is hey, babe. super beautiful. Hey, babe, how about, oh man, it's my birthday. How would you come over and remove some fluid? This guy that is definitely sense. the personification of the umlaut over the U and <laughs> Look at have, those beady eyes. I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> oh man, don't get me started on those flagellums. <laughs> Oh, uh, Jake, you got me all excited about flagellums. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, no. Are those his flagellums? <laughs> yeah. yeah, those are his flagell flagellums. Or okay. bacteria viewership <laughs> is seething right now. Oh. And guys, They're we don't want to get... unsubscribe with their flagellums. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this was during what historians call the, oh shit, the Mongols period. <laughs> We've told tales of Crocodilos Gladys, the man who successfully threw a shoe at a bear, <laughs> then died after stepping on rocks. <laughs> His last words were, owie. <laughs> Gee golly, the professor warned me I might be in, in touch with the speed force. <laughs> I believe I've 23 skidooed beyond that of mortal men. Why, <laughs> <By> Willicus. <laughs> I'm going to need one heck of a phosphate if I'm to return to my own time. <laughs> in the year 1425, a man from the year 1932 <laughs> has to outrun. The past. <laughs> and also the future. <laughs> Martin Emmett Topino is... The time runner relay. The time relay. <laughs> hey guys, what do spiders look like? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Next time on Punk, <laughs> we're gonna weaponize this otherwise peaceful idiot. <laughs> yeah. 1696 in England. Uh, <laughs> nothing even happened. Nothing even happened in 1696. Monarch in William the Third. Mm-hmm. Uh, a third. Jacobite invasion happened. Oh, a Jacobite invasion? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm just going to draw Jacob invading. <laughs> can, uh, can Jake be invading with me? He's yeah. also a Jacob. We're oh. both Jacobs. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, okay. Oh, yay. Okay. As a fellow His Jacobite, uh, what's your what what kind of Protestantism do you do you uh, do you uh, do you adhere to? The strict weird kind? I hope so. Uh, well, I'm actually a big fan of turbo Protestantism. <laughs> oh man, this is. I felt be like the great. normal kind wasn't strict and weird enough. <laughs> turbo Protestantism. <laughs> yeah. Also, it, it, it's, it just plays faster than normal <laughs> Protestantism. Turbo mode. That's. Uh, I, I mean, turbo turbo Protestantism was uh, started by Martin Luther X. Yeah. <laughs> Martin the, Luther. the extreme version of yeah. Martin Luther. The half cyborg version of Martin Luther. <laughs> Sur surprisingly, not a fusion between Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. No, no. no. And uh, obviously the war between them and the Gigapope raged on for <laughs> millennia. Some say to this day. Uh, in different parts of the universe. Yeah, if you're a hollow earther. <laughs> <laughs> hollow earther. Which I am. <laughs> Which I totally am. These, this was the entirety of the Jacobites. 
It's just me riding on Jake's shoulders. Just like a Scottish Highlander is just looking <laughs> over a, a hill, just being like, Boy, what's that? <laughs> well, uh, Sound the alarms. It's the Dragobites. <laughs> all, all both of them. They're coming. Give you some, give you some armor. I kind of feel bad for him. <laughs> At least I get some armor. Thanks. Yeah, to you. yeah. You uh, get some armor, and uh, it's not just me know. in a T-shirt with a yeah. stupid-looking sword. Well, I mean, we can either sit here and worry about how dumb we are, or I can hop on your back, Jake, and you can rocket us over the New York skyline. What do you say, buddy? Just chop off my legs and let's make this happen. New York skyline. (laughs) Defender and midfielder of of the world. So is he defending? Oh, he's defending all right, and that's that's why he's got... uh, He has, like, knee armor, leg armor, and a a big shield. A big old shield. Oh, Oh, Uh, yeah, I'm I'm ignoring the midfielder part. Uh-huh. Uh, we're just going with a so- he's a soccer defender. Well, I feel like uh, he's a midfielder in the sense that like midfield is like a fantasy kingdom. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's he's the defender, the defender of, midfield. of midfield. Yes, the defender of midfield. <laughs> Sir, it's the Paraguayans. <laughs> they are at the gates. <laughs> so, Worry not. <laughs> I've defended midfield from Paraguayans, <laughs> Uruguayans, <laughs> Bolivians. <laughs> Every Guayan you can imagine. <laughs> By the bends of Beckham, we have won this day! <laughs> <laughs> the bends of Beckham. Yeah, everyone in, uh, in mid- Argentina. Oh, yeah. That's Stop. how they speak, like old English <laughs> style. So, uh, Juiced was a, a, for a prank compilation involving uh, O.J. Simpson, <laughs> famed pretty much murder. <laughs> right. <laughs> famed uh, famed uh, murder who got away with it. Yeah. Is the is his whole thing. So like he would so the idea was is that like these comedians and actors would do a reality kind of punk style show where you'd be like at an open house and then all of a sudden OJ Simpson's, Simpson's in there. there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> And all of a sudden, O.J. Simpson's there. That's and like, just, that's the break every yeah. time. It's just O.J. Like, Simpson. So that's really it. Like out. they had no writers, and right. like, no, and so like they had one of the actors who did it just kind of explain like, if you watch it, there's no jokes. <laughs> it's just kind of like people going, "Hey, isn't that O.J. Simpson?" <laughs> And then some stuff happens, and then O.J. Simpson goes up and says, "You got juiced." <laughs> Wow. Real real talk, though. Why do you need a belt if you're wearing a rope? To hang your skulls from. Hang your skulls <laughs> from. He's Van Lick. Of course. A Lutheran schoolmaster in the <laughs> Prekmerge region of the Kingdom of Hungary today in Slovenia. Uh, he worked with Pukonici near Murska Subuda. Pukonici, the evil clown. <laughs> <laughs> Pukonici, <laughs> the evil clown. <laughs> no, because here, here's, here's... I like this little guy. Here's why clowns are bullshit. Is every other kind of entertainer has like an actual name, yeah. and is like I am a talented person that does this. It's me, Jeff the Juggler, or like I'm, I'm Bethany the Balloon Animal Artist, or like, yeah. I, yeah. But their, like their clowns names are like are always I'm Squ- I'm Squibbles, <laughs> the joy creature that exists solely in this state. <laughs> do I eat? Do I sleep? I'm I don't clear. know. <laughs> No one knows. <laughs> but I am a supernatural mirth being sent from beyond reality. Clowns do say that a lot, which does... It they me say it with their presence. Yeah, when they keep telling me that they're a supernatural <laughs> mirth being from beyond reality. <laughs> it's real. It's real. Like, I would rather... Like, I understand that, like, you couldn't outwardly make fun of hobos after a certain point, and yeah. so they had to be like, no, that's a clown. Just be like a, a, just be good at tumbling and pantomime. Yeah. And use your real goddamn name and take off that stupid nose. Please. <laughs> I'm begging you. Jeffrey, please. <laughs> please take off the nose. <laughs> I feel like that would be like how if like you had a child and the child came out to you as a clown. <laughs> They would they would come and approach you wearing the nose. No, it was Be like mother, father. <laughs> I have something to tell you. Hawk, hawk. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you're doing this just to just to annoy. It's a magic school, of course, where they teach uh, soccer, mancy, yeah. uh, and necromancy. Not, soccer and necromancy and the dark clown arts and the dark clown arts. 
The the clown's a transfer student. <laughs> <laughs> they found me in the box. <laughs> this is yeah. actually a young adult novel. Like, yeah, we, you don't realize we just, it. We just <laughs> made a young adult novel. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then uh, I'm just a different kind. I don't fit in. <laughs> they found me in a box. <laughs> That's like the after the the main series is done, they do a side novel about Pukunichi, the, the undead clown, and it's like a all time worst seller. <laughs> all time, yeah, New York Times all time worst sellers list. I think Gavin likes me. <laughs> 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 the audiobook was an even worse seller. Yeah. Yeah, the guy, the author insisted on doing the voiceover himself and he's just he's just a real weirdo. Yeah, and he has not spoken since then. Yeah. Uh, a vow of silence was all that could rectify what he had done. Don't you understand Pukanucci? The power is inside you, said the headmaster. Really? <laughs> really? No, not inside really. me? <laughs> not really, Pukanucci. Go back to your room. Go back to your box. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just feel so safe there. Ha, ka, 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 ka. Why are there 17 more chapters? Task of the Goalkeeper. There we go. Task of the Goalkeeper, <laughs> book one. Welcome to Wiki Roulette, where we draw a lot and learn nothing. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Pukonichi, the skeleton clown. Oh, no. <laughs> ka, 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 ka. oh man. My oh, grim man. task involves juggling. And darkness. Ha, ka, 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 ka. <laughs> well, thanks, thanks for joining us on the show, Pukunichi. Uh, I feel like you've gotten okay. a bit more sinister since you were last yeah, you on. Were, like, you were a little goofier uh, last time, but I guess you know you've you've come into your yourself. As I am outside the box, I grow in power. <laughs> <laughs> he's 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 grown like he's grown like uh, six inches since yeah, since last he's, we he's saw a him. Growing boy. He's I'm a boy. big big boy. <laughs> you're, up to, you're up to chest height. Puritans, am I right? <laughs> 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 Don't need them. Don't like them. <laughs> Pukunichi, when have you when have you interacted with Puritans? I was scampering the alleyways of the 1800s London. Oh, I had no idea you were that old, Bukinichi. I am timeless. <laughs> as long as there is clowns and skeletons, I have been here. They found me in a box. <laughs> So Only a pie wielded by a virgin, pure of heart, can send me back into the box. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... Well, uh, that, that ain't that's, me. No, you know one, what I'm saying? No, one here, no one here is pure of heart. Mm -mm. Oh, excellent socks. <laughs> Someday I, I hope to know what it is like to wear those. <laughs> Puganichi uh, cannot wear socks. Why can't you just wear socks? Nobody has ever given me money. <laughs> <laughs> what life you have. That's, You've been around for that long and no one has ever given you money. Have you, I eat mostly crickets. <laughs> have, you, have you ever had a job? Usually pe people don't just give me money. I mean, my parents do sometimes when I, when I ask, but like, you need to... You need a job, Pukunichi. I put out on the Craigslist, <laughs> party clown. Party, party. will work for crickets. Oh, see, that's the problem. Well, so they're going to give you crickets. They're not going to give you money, Pukunichi. I assume Americans tip. <laughs> but then when I get there, people do not like my my shrieking. <laughs> and, of course, the clattering. <laughs> oh, so much clattering. Pukunichi, you are welcome here anytime, uh, especially since we... we don't know what happened to Jake. There's just a, a smoldering crater uh, where his seat was. I know nothing of what yeah. happened to his essence. <laughs> Didn't say anything about his essence. <laughs> Super weird that you bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say mad at you, Pukunichi. Oh, it's my favorite children's book. Oh, no, princess. I only drew cleats on one of his shoes. <laughs> That's because this one is a rollerblade. Oh, <laughs> he plays the roller football. Roller football. Oh, Jacob, you are a visual sorcerer. <laughs> I will have your essence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pukinichi, always trying to steal our essences. 
<laughs> You're never gonna get him, <laughs> little guy. Little guy. <laughs> Can I have five dollars <laughs> or a cricket <laughs> or, or or one cricket? Is that Your exchange the, rate is, that the is all. <laughs> There's like a. This is a thing, right? Like a a front corset. Like a front corset. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a fake princess. She doesn't know. Munichi, you you spent some time on a on a whaling ship, right? Ah yes. <laughs> I was, I snuck aboard after I was hunting for some precious, precious bugs. <laughs> Little did I realize that they... Bugs don't, don't live on, on sailing vessels, or do they? I don't, do they? I, I was shooed aboard it after some Puritans found me. <laughs> it was my, the only place oh my I could God. hide. Fucking Puritans, dude. They're, They're gonna do that. They uh, love doing that. They'll yeah. shoo you. I, I get it. Protestantism eats up. <laughs> <laughs> Fukunichi, do you have any, uh, do you have any siblings? Oh, no. I mean, are you, wait, are you talking brood shares? <laughs> yeah, brood shares. Sorry. Oh, I I'm came from a real ex- feisty batch of ex- dark ones. <laughs> <laughs> were they, were they all evil clowns to start with, or were they oh. just, was clown a vocation that you chose, uh, as, as a <laughs> broodling? <laughs> Is this, is As this a pain? broodling, you must choose a dark profession. I have shared the spawning sack with a dark gymnast. Oh, sure. A dark uh, poet. <laughs> and a, a, a dark osteopath. Spawn with a mouth hole. Yes. I, I think that's... The better to which for crickets. <laughs> Bane also a big fan of crickets. Bane loves his crickets. He's basically a luchador with gross tubes sticking out of his everywhere. Just... I tried to grow a mustache once. Oh yeah? <laughs> it just just spines came out. <laughs> it was not a good look. <laughs> I tried to go for like a spiky little soul patch. <laughs> But uh, I have no soul, so he could not grow. <laughs> could not grow it. Well, By the way, that, Jacob, uh, could that... you breathe on this dagger for me? <laughs> no reason, just asking. No, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Foiled again. <laughs> <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Can you breathe on this dagger for me? <laughs> Seems like an innocent enough request. <laughs> um, I like the idea that a soul patch. Like the strength of a soul patch is also an indicator of the strength of one's soul. Yeah, that that is how it works. I am telling <laughs> the you. The thicker it is, if you ever go to the jazz club, you are among some of the most powerful men <laughs> in this mortal <laughs> plane. So, like the dude from Smash Mouth is like, <laughs> <laughs> he's cowering away. <laughs> I've said the forbidden phrase. Sma- the dude from Smash the Mouth. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> how? De- you know he is the most powerful wizard in all the world. He must be. He, he's a believer. Uh... <laughs> Covered in runes, inlaid with gemstones, and still you opened me. <laughs> Thank you. In a way, you are like my brood father. Aww. That's really Fukunichi. sweet. <laughs> Wait, so... You Could were, I have five dollars? <laughs> so like you, you've been around for a while. Then you got sealed in that box, and then I opened the box, and that made me your, your brood father. It's. I mean, you know, I don't like to put labels on anything. Oh, that's that's very progressive of you, Pukanichi. But I, I, I feel like you know, we, I look up to you. You know, I've, I've always said that Nathan would make a really good brood papa. Aww. You just look at Guys. him. Guys, I, I want him in charge of my brood. But wait, who's who's this? Who's this peeking out? <gasps> oh no! Ha ka ka ka! Ha ka! Every time you have a weird thought and you're like, "Ooh, why did I think that?" That's your old pal Pukanichi climbing on your scalp. The uh, <laughs> the individual medley swimmers. Uh, fun fact about them, they are actually never allowed to repeat a stroke, mm-hmm. ever. They it's have to true. keep inventing they new ones. They have to keep inventing new strokes to I do mean, every time. But to be fair, it's a beautiful sport that gave us such such beautiful swim styles as the Carolina Shim Sham <laughs> and, uh, and the Robot's Lament. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that one, you actually sink to the bottom and walk all the way yeah, across the pool. Way. You make yourself heavier. <laughs> Through sheer force of sheer swimming force prowess. Of, of will and prowess. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was in 1998 that uh, I saw someone cartwheel 
across the water. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those Jesus lizards. <laughs> Here Pop we go. Nathan, please draw me a good foot. What is you this look headlight? At it, what have I done? <laughs> Why is it so big? Have I ever seen a car before? <laughs> I mean, there are know. even pictures of cars it's, in this yeah, Wikipedia article. I'm, I'm looking at a picture of a car and attempting to replicate it, and this is what's happening. <laughs> I like, I like that Kim up top is a, a giant. <laughs> Listen, man, that's the secret to her success. <laughs> she's just, she's just a giant person. <laughs> I'm about to show you some uh, incredible Photoshop tips. Okay. Don't you dare! Which is that I can just make things whatever size I want, whenever I want. Oh, oh shit! No, so I can. So like when bigger. she when she does her like windmill motion with her hands, she's actually she's hitting him in the head. Yeah, I can make this smaller. Oh, she's real small now. Uh, she's still winning. Uh, <laughs> it's not even on the ground driving. No, it's he's kind of <laughs> the wheels. Kind of the motoring. wheels are doing nothing. <laughs> the wheels are doing nothing. He's just kind of motoring along. <laughs> Making his way downtown, walking fast. Uh, I don't, Face is past. I don't understand homebound. what's propelling this car. <laughs> it's not important, dude. The force, <laughs> duh. That's like a Agrabah. Like, like, like an Aladdin. <laughs> like an Aladdin building. It's an Aladdin building. Or like a Moscow house. A Mos Central Indian night. <laughs> it's like Central, Central Indian, Indian days. <laughs> it's definitely not Arabian. <laughs> it explicitly said Central India. <laughs> In a couple of ways. <laughs> Here's the thing about this shrine. It's a... It's a water temple. <laughs> it's a it's a traveling shrine. What? Uh-huh. Because you know how it's it's like it's shaped like a rocket. Oh. Uh, so it's just flying? It's just, uh, yeah, it's just flying. They're racing for, for pink slips here. Yeah. If the swimmer loses, she has to give up her legs. <laughs> what? Wait. She has no vehicle to give up. Oh, pink oh, slips, so uh, she's gotta give her legs to Spock. <laughs> if video. we ever do bad, we did it on purpose. Yeah. And if we ever do good, we also did it on purpose. <laughs> Everything we do is intentional. Um, and we don't make mistakes. What, they get Thomas J. Pickard, acting director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Oh, oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, no. Is this is this bad? Is I he mean, a bad is he a bad dude? I mean, he was in office for a brief period in summer 2001. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, heavens. Gosh. Oh, oh, jeepers. Yep. He's a funny man with a mustache. He's my man with the mustache, and the time he did stuff has uh, is not important. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to talk about it. He did it. Kim's like, listen up, rookie. I don't know where you came from, but it's swim or be swimmed out there. <laughs> <laughs> swim or be swimmed. Well, I yeah, you got some good moves. I'll give you that. I certainly don't want to be swimmed. <laughs> Pay me heed, for I am an average pitcher. Nobody ever got heed quite like old Jimmy Brewer. <laughs> Had heed for days. <laughs> heed as far as the eye could see. Uh, I feel like what we're really missing right now with this chunk of knowledge is just how cool the name Bakari Alexander is. It's it does, pretty cool. It it's does. a liquor and a conqueror. Yeah. <laughs> like if I walked in and was like, hey, how you doing? My name's Whiskey Genghis. You'd be like, <laughs> that is the coolest guy in the office. Yeah, that's definitely... Uh, Svedka... Svedka Caesar. <laughs> Not as good. Not as good. <laughs> Have you guys met my cool badass friend Smirnoff Mussolini? <laughs> uh, hold, hold on. Yep. Hold yeah. On. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You, you got this, buddy. We uh, believe it's in you. It's gonna be good. I know it. Uh, Tanqueray. Ooh. Uh, Attila. Oh, you know, you kind of dropped the ball at the end, I think. Uh, <laughs> just apply the regular sized legs filter in Photoshop and yeah. be done with it. Here you go. Regulate legs. <laughs> These legs are out of control. Ooh, Gaussian regulate legs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I had a fun, I made an internet friend uh, this week. Because I, I wrote a, I, I illustrated a comic about feminism. Whoa! <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> that made that made a, a a gentleman on Twitter uh, decide he should send me a Wikipedia article about logical fallacies. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, if it, if it if it had some Latin bullshit, then you had to be wrong. Yeah, <laughs> it had nothing to do with any of the arguments the comic was making. 
But uh, I but it totally changed your opinion, and now yeah. you've reversed. And now, yeah. So guys, uh, the wage gap is. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't. I don't want to make a straw no. man argument here, but he was literally a Hitler monster. <laughs> With, like, weird, like, lobster hands, and, like, he kept eating babies. Oh. And, you know, guys, I mean, like, we'll, it, we'll, we'll leave the office, like, trying to find the J.Y. Dykeman flower and feed store, but what we'll really find is ourselves. And also the J.Y. Dykeman <laughs> flower and feed store. Yeah, uh, I'm not as interested in that. Uh, I would like to find the J.Y. Dykeman <laughs> flower and feed store. Very much. It's a shame that the only thing upstate New York and the South have in common is just a history of mistreatment of the Mormon church. Because other than that, there's very little. <laughs> well, they've uh, they've disagreed here over how best to mistreat the Mormon church. So they, have, they each have their own kind of opinions, and they're unwilling to back down. Uh, if I you... think we should let them into our community, but then ridicule them. <laughs> I say we don't let them in at all. <laughs> what do we want? To punch a pig. <laughs> Why do we want it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Wiki Roulette, where we draw a lot and learn nothing. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm old baby Gus, the world's <laughs> oldest baby. <laughs> <laughs> the world's oldest baby? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I've wait, lived is... a hard and fast life, and also, where's my blanket? <laughs> Why? I mean, I can't read, but if I could, I'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> Just sound it out, old baby. Old baby Gus. <laughs> old baby Gus. That's y Tyke Mueller Tukey Lemma. That was great. Yeah. Yay. Wow. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I've seen a lot in my four months of life. <laughs> Things Wait, you wouldn't believe. You're four months old, but somehow the oldest baby. Uh, guys, quick question. Uh, uh, do I have an identity separate from my mother? Uh, does, it, does anybody want just a microwaved plastic bottle of milk? I like mean, a lightly microwaved milk in a bottle? Do you have one? Do you, yeah, do you... Are you, are you offering? Are you offering? I would be actually oh, really into that. I mean, listen, this, this, this dusty old mug you see before you is just... I've just been through so much, and I just... <laughs> I have this wisdom about me. So, but what? But what have you been through? I th I think I saw a dog. <laughs> God damn it! What? <laughs> Good lord! I mean, I he think was... I saw a dog. He's not sure whether or not. He's... And my diaper is full. Wham. Where I say, uh, Nathan, do you want to? You want to take care of that? Yeah, I kinda, uh, I'll just. Uh, this is existentially horrifying. <laughs> you know, we it, in retrospect, we shouldn't agree have agreed to babysit right before hosting uh, uh, a Drawfee episode. In but, retrospect, we totally didn't. We didn't agree to that. Oh, I I did. You, they, you didn't. Well, I'm well, sorry. While well, you, you two are jibber-jabbering, the been... inside of me is now outside, and this is the most terrifying experience. It's okay. Just lie, just lie on your back. Let me get... Uh, just Okay, here we go. Legs up. And uh, let's uh, let's just get, get that in the garbage and uh, give you a little wipe. Oh, boy, howdy. That, is, that is a relief. Some, some powder here. Let's go. Um, and uh, all right, let's just, let's just cinch you up there. And you're, uh, you're good. You oh, I'm ready new... for another crazy <laughs> night in Tijuana. Oh, no, you never forget Tijuana. I fell in love with a beautiful dancer named Juanita. Okay. She, she, we, we were from two different worlds. She was, she was the daughter of a crime lord, and I was an exceptionally old baby. <laughs> it was never going to work. Funny story, the past and the future are things I cannot begin to comprehend <laughs> or put into words. Am I alive? Am I gonna die? I don't know. I'm oh, Juanita used to laugh and laugh as I would <laughs> dribble the mush down the chin. I think Juanita maybe was uh, was some sort of caretaker of his. And, uh, There's no way to know for sure. If that's true, then why did I kill her brother? <laughs> oh. <laughs> How? How? There he's worshipped as life. some kind of yokai, I believe. Did you, there's no reason for you to know that. All right, what? All babies know about Japanese folklore. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're you plan on being a parent someday? That is ignorant. <laughs> he's th you're thinking of man babies. <laughs> <laughs> Are you... 
are you gonna are you gonna finish these pennies on your desk? Because they're looking <laughs> mighty scrumptious. Oh, oh no, I left the pennies. Oh, he's already got ten in his mouth. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> And now I am full of burp gas. Wah, wah. Jacob. Oh, wah, I say, oh, wah. Jacob, I'm, uh, I'm drawing. Would you, would you mind burping, uh, old, old, oh, yeah, old yeah. baby Gus? Yeah, hold on, let me give him some pats. I literally cannot control, wah, oh, wah, uh, uh, There it is, there it oh, is. Oh, he, he puked. There's the pennies. <laughs> <laughs> you got the pennies out. Two birds with one stone on that one. That's, uh, eight, nine, ten. There, there are more, more pennies came out than I saw him eat. <laughs> I, for ye, I've struggled with addiction, I'm not gonna lie. So maybe it would, if, if you or anyone in your family is struggling with penny addiction, know that help can, is on the way. Know that eventually they will age past four months <laughs> and probably stop eating pennies. That's, that has to be like a really brave missionary. Yeah, right. They just like looked at like looked at a group of Vikings. Like, it's like I think I can convince them. <laughs> yeah. Fellas, put down so the tough. war hammers. Yeah. <laughs> Get a load of this fish loaf, man. <laughs> uh, when you do communion, you you are literally drinking his blood. That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> That's we're in. <laughs> you guys like that, right? <laughs> You're eating his body and drinking his blood. That's pretty rad. Super metal. <laughs> I feel like this is kind of like a, like an angsty teen metal church, <laughs> like a metalcore church. Yeah. Oh, oh, the the wispy mustache yeah, that screams. <laughs> I am the blackest metal. My gonads just started working, and everything makes madness. <laughs> is the Treehouse of Horror like friends with Metal Church? Yeah, they're like hanging out in in the basement together. <laughs> <laughs> And they both think the they're really The cool. basement of an even larger building. <laughs> of an even larger building that they both are in, <laughs> for some reason. Oh, did you just, like, come up with your very own, like, uh, original property about, like, a high school full of buildings? Yeah. <laughs> building high school. <laughs> they're building relationships. <laughs> Dang it, Mom and Dad, I don't want to be a church. <laughs> your father was a church. His father was a church. His father was a monastery. I want to be an indoor roller skating rink. <laughs> no son of mine will be a roller skating rink. I'm going to go get renovated, you see. <laughs> Don't understand Veterans Hospital. We're from two different worlds. <laughs> <laughs> On this episode, <laughs> Two Family Duplex learns a very important lesson. <laughs> Just because there are two families inside me doesn't mean I'm any less important. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then the actual see. high school itself is like, what am I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <He's> just, <laughs> <it's> just, <laughs> he just talks to the kids. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. High School. <laughs> I didn't even insane. ask to get built, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Are we built? <laughs> <laughs> what is the nature of our reality? We established even... that we have like parents. Does that mean like I came out of like a door vagina? <laughs> 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 That's the spinoff is a uh, building hospital. The maternity ward hospital. is all kind of fucked up. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want to make. This I don't even dark. believe in the builder. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Builder. <laughs> I don't think the builder is like, you know, a construction worker in the clouds. He's just like, you know, the universe. It's just like a way to explain things that we don't understand. You know, you shouldn't take it so literally. It's not like we're literally been built by anyone. Vegetal, you're you're a church. You're literally a church. <laughs> <sighs> I didn't ask to be built this way, okay? If the builder's so smart, he should have known that. I'm unclear as to how they actually smoke this bowl. <laughs> They just fill their. They they they, they, have, hot they hot them box themselves. themselves. <laughs> no, it's Kozlow. It's Kozlow, the new transfer student from Poland. From okay, Poland, and yeah. he's just a little village house, and he he's, doesn't fit in. Oh, and because hair. this is a hacky premise, he's like super horny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Wowie wazuzels. <laughs> Wowie wazuzels. These houses, they have such big roofs. <laughs> The bigger the basement, the larger the storage, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, God. I hate this movie. <laughs>
I'd like to think that like on the inside of these structures, it's just like meat and organs, <laughs> like hey all guys, stuffed in there. You you going to big party at Martin's place? I mean, literally Martin. We are going. <laughs> He's very big, student. He's very big. <laughs> Is, is the house that they're in also yeah. the sentient house? Yeah, he's yeah. like... And is that house in another house? <laughs> he's like, Our house oh, is, is a very, there? very, very nice dude. <laughs> <laughs> his face is just like on the ceiling. <laughs> like, what, what are you guys doing? <laughs> it's horrifying. Yeah. Our house, do do in the middle of the uh, street. Our house, house. coming this summer. <laughs> <laughs> Three uh, houses that couldn't be more different. Yeah. <laughs> Wowie, what's those? <laughs> Disney's structures. <laughs> Welcome to Wiki Roulette, where we draw a lot and learn nothing. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Paragon Hank, the world's healthiest man. <laughs> <laughs> Beware! <laughs> Beware of what? <laughs> Trans fats? Lollygagging? Who knows? I'm trying to clench my brain in order to get smarter. Mm -hmm, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. almost working. Uh, right. You you you're doing a you're doing brain kegels. Hort. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my class, classic intervals. If you want to get maximum power, is uh, you do you do ten squats followed by ten push-ups. And then a complete MMA fight. <laughs> Every day Gains? you're not gaining mass, you're dying. You're losing mass. You're losing life. Uh, the founder of my gym is actually 800 pounds and 200 years old. <laughs> he is literally so swole, death cannot touch him. <laughs> He's in the prime of his life. <laughs> death can't find him in all the muscles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some commenter was just like, is it just me or has Nathan sounded like extra sad lately? <laughs> the Lord of the Rings films uh, are not eligible for uh, healthiest movie mm -mm. of the year. They are, they are, uh, dire the director's uh, BMI is too, is too bad so. to, to, uh, to qualify. Oh, we've been boycotting the works of Guillermo del Toro for similar reasons. Sure. Lose some weight, you whimsical Mexican bastard. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'll be selling uh, my new book, Lose Some Weight, You Whimsical <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> it's available only it's, on Amazon it's Kindle. A, it's a very specific book. <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant Nook. It's it's a Nook exclusive. <laughs> when uh, when a challenge is issued... Gesundheit. Excuse me? You said... You, it sounded like you sneezed when you said. Uh, I'm gonna need you to do at least 18 jumping jacks as okay. penance for that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, I'll just be over here doing jumping jacks. Will you guys keep, keep wow. going? I, I can. The sweat has already started pouring down <laughs> his face. Okay. That was technically half a jumping jack oh. before that happened. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Mm-hmm. Ow. And two. <laughs> Is that enough? It's two. Oh, <laughs> it's two. And. And two. I, honestly, if you continue doing that, I will feel sadness for the first time in three years, so I'm gonna beg you to stop. You drew those feet. Remember when I drew you... these feet and now I have to erase these feet? You That's... guys remember that? It's... Here's a cool art trick. Here's a cool art <laughs> draw trick. Draw something and spend time on it, and then draw something in front of it so that you have to erase it. Jacob, I, I should ask your permission to do this, but I just, I really need to get my heart rate up. Can I just lift you for a few seconds? Oh yeah, sure dude. Thanks. Just uh, bench me. Yeah. Hork. Ah, yep. Mm-hmm. Those are the noises that normal people make when they lift things. <laughs> and release. Ooh. Wow, I worked up a sweat. No, from you, that. I, you are quite possibly the most uh, confoundingly dense human beings I've ever met. <laughs> do, I, I, I mean this sincerely. Do you have an adamantium skeleton? Yeah. That explains it. Yeah, that's. You know, a lot of people don't know that about me. Which government gave you that? Canadian? Russian? Unclear. Oh. Uh, sh a shadow government. Nice. Yeah, still trying to figure that one out uh, right. to get my, my ultimate revenge. <laughs> that was a very strong laugh. Thank you. <laughs> Your voice is getting stronger. <laughs> You're getting stronger before our very eyes. I've been absorbing nutrients from Nathan's spine this entire episode. <laughs> that's, that's why I feel so lightheaded. Mm-hmm. Huh. Just, just, just write it out. Except what's happening. Yep. I have, I am, 
I will. I do. As it turns out, the only thing they needed to be war of was love. Schlomer! Schlomer. May refer to <laughs> Bernd Schlomer, a German politician of the Pirate Party. Okay. Bernd Schlomer. I Bernd. just draw a character. Have I ever told you the story of Bernd Schlomer, <laughs> the most phlegmy of all the pirates? The Pirate Party. <laughs> I feel like a Bernd Schlomer is a very serious medical condition. <laughs> 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 you don't burn Schlomer, you need to get to a oh, doctor immediately. Oh, no. <laughs> if your Schlomer lasts for upwards of five hours, consult a doctor. Have uh, you suffered from a burn Schlomer? <laughs> you may be eligible for legal whatever. So this is just going to be... Just a like, guy in an office, like, typing at a yeah. computer, and it's like, huh, you're like me. You're a busy guy, you like to get things done, and your Schlomer has been irrevocably singed. <laughs> But now, there's a better way. <laughs> Kill <No>. yourself. <laughs> it's the only escape. <laughs> For years, I had to use expensive ointments, creams, and tinctures. But now, Schlomerex will... <laughs> The eye, the eye uh, that didn't get burned, or is is the one that that needs a patch. Yeah, yeah it's like so. This, you the other side got sh got burnt along with your Schlomer, but what about the other one? It's like, yar, twas a knife fight with a hobo. <laughs> Vote for me. <laughs> this guy is a a giant hot dog. No, he's a ghost penis. Oh, I'm, so, I'm uh, so sorry. I've had a lot of inspiration today from uh, our very own Julia Levetit, mm. uh, n noted French woman of right. our office, yes. who uh, every single day almost when I'm drawing something for work will come by, take my stylus, and add uh, various baguettes to the drawing. <laughs> has, Jacob, has it been addressed just how thoroughly you are like IRL cyberbullied at this office? It's been addressed. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob, it's, it's you, been talked about. you provide such a valuable service to everyone else who works here. Like, whenever anyone needs to blow off steam, they just come over to your desk. And, Take my stylus. And harass you. And, and draw whatever they want or knock all my things on the floor. And it's, like, done out of love, but, like, on paper, no, you are, like, you need intervention. Yeah, like, it's fine. Like, have you talked to the principal? <laughs> <laughs> the principal it? of grown-ups? The principal of all grown-ups? <laughs> like, the principal of grown-ups, like, calls you into his office and tells you that you're not, like, your band isn't going to make it. <laughs> but, like, there's a big bowl of peanut butter cups, yeah. so, like, you feel all right. <laughs> uh, Jimmy, the adult principal, wants to see you in his <laughs> office. Ooh. <laughs> But I'm in the middle of band practice. No, that's, Jimmy, that's exactly that's, that's why. That's exactly what this is about. <laughs> you, you're 34. <laughs> it's not going to happen, man. We're sorry. Have have some peanut butter. <laughs> and now I called your mother, and she's not surprised. <laughs> oh, God, please don't tell my mom. She she called me. <laughs> sick of this. All right? Dealing with real shit. <laughs> okay. We got finals week coming oh, up. Oh no. Adult finals. Adult finals. It's the last thing you do before you die. <laughs> <laughs> it determines if you go to heaven or hell. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrifying. And oh. no one studied, <laughs> as usual. Uh, you Soccer guys can see this, but Julia just got back and she saw what I was drawing. You made me so proud! And just, it's just, this is all I ever wanted was Julia's approval. Jacob, I'm so proud of you! <laughs> this is a Thank happy you. day! Thank you, Julia. I can leave now. It is a happy day. You can leave this world. This beautiful baguette boy. Oh, Julia's, she's flying away. <laughs> it's, it's she's sprouted wings. <laughs> She, her work here is done. Work here is done you can earth. make your own baguettes now. <laughs> She's, I can see I'm not needed here anymore. Yeah. You stop like fucking up my hat game with your speech bubble, please. Yeah, hold on, let me get, let me just, let me just get in there. Oh wow! Here, I'll mm -hmm. fix it. Wow, wow, we wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Come on. Oh god! You're stomping all over my hat game. <laughs> <laughs> And he's saying... Fair enough, dude. He's so, You're so close, Nathan. Oh you can do it. Just do it. Bring it home. Just call I'm it. not sorry this time. Hi, Julia. Hi, Julia. <laughs> Julia, get out of here. You're not in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Done.